Hello, welcome back to my radiology Q&A session. I'm Dr. Priya. Here is the MCQ. A patient diagnosed with multiple sclerosis has been referred to a neurologist displaying symptoms indicative of spinal cord involvement. So, to evaluate the spinal cord for potential multiple sclerosis plaques, an MRI scan of the entire spine has been ordered. So, here you are asked about, in the context of multiple sclerosis, where are the lesions in the spinal cord most frequently found? Answer A, cervical segment. Answer B, thoracic segment. Answer C, lumbar segment. D, sacral segment. And answer E, all segments are equally affected. Now, what do you think? This question is a straightforward one. What do you think about the answer? Comment below your answer and we will discuss the answers one by one. Ta-da! It's answer time. The correct answer to the question is... A. Cervical segment. So, as you know, multiple sclerosis is a demyelinating disease that can affect various parts of the central nervous system, including the spinal cord. So, in the context of multiple sclerosis, the lesions in the spinal cord are most commonly found in the cervical segment. So, please remember this. The cervical spinal cord is a frequent site for these demyelinating lesions, and this region's involvement can lead to a range of neurological symptoms. So, the reason for the predilection for the cervical area is not entirely clear but may be related to the higher density of myelinated fibers and the specific immunological environment in this region. While lesions can occur in other segments of the spinal cord such as the thoracic, columbar regions, they are less common in these areas compared to the cervical segment. Therefore, in patients with multiple sclerosis, clinicians often pay particular attention to the cervical region of the spinal cord when assessing for the presence of multiple sclerosis plaques. So that's it for today. We'll meet with another MCQ. Bye-bye.